paprika. Let's go to cabbage soup. Cabbage stew, excuse me. For that, we need two and a half cups water, five cups cabbage cut in small chunks, one half cup soy curls, one tablespoon olive oil, one tablespoon soy sauce unfermented, one half teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, one tablespoon nutritional yeast flakes, one green onion chopped, one cup vegan spaghetti sauce. I like cabbage soup. I really like, I mean, Kyung knows this. I like any kind of soup, so. But cabbage soup's really good. My sister married a Romanian gentleman, uh, and they have a lot of cabbage. They, they eat In all Romania, kind of soup. They do. This one is have, stew. Okay. <laughs> a little thicker. <laughs> but whether it's stew or soup, yeah. it'll still be good. And I like it with the cabbage, that's Thank nice. Thank you. I like to, have you ever done with the Napa cabbage? They cook faster than Not American cabbage. Okay. And so when I'm home, I usually like to use a Napa cabbage. And nice. they, they're just melt in your mouth <laughs> once oh. they cook. Yes. Okay, so you know my trick. First, you need to turn the heat on. So, so let go and water get ready. Mm -hmm. And you will need a five cups cabbage. So usually when you buy the medium size, head mm -hmm. and then they will make a five cups. Okay. Yeah. So, so that will nice. be easier. You just know one head of cabbage is yes. what you're so gonna use. Then you need to don't cut it too small. I put it in the small cube what it is when you cut it small faster the cooking. But I like a little chunky mm -hmm. for this one. So mm -hmm. that makes about five cups here. Very nice. And once you start to cook cabbage, you know, they get shrink. So it you does. look like we don't have much water. I have two and a half cup water already in there. Okay. And cabbage has a lot of water in here. Yeah. In it. So, so once you cook, yeah. you will just cook down. Then I'm going to add, like I mentioned about soy curls. This is made out. If you just turn the TV on, I'm just going to explain to you. This is 100% soybean and non-GMO soybean. It's very high in protein. So we don't actually need to get a protein from beef or chicken or fish. So there's soybean products. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put about half cup in there. And again, we don't need to rehydrate it because it's going in the water right. in the soup. Yeah. Okay. So it's simple and easy. Then I'm adding one tablespoon olive oil. Do you know why I told you it takes longer to cook? So once you put the oil in there, it just water get hotter. Yeah. So it cook faster. This is mm -hmm. trick. And it tastes good too. Oh yeah, I love <laughs> olive oil. It has a good flavor. Yeah. And this is unfermented soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And I always put garlic powder, mm -hmm. onion powder, or you can put regular put fresh. Your mm -hmm. fresh ones, this fine. And I will put nutrition yeast flake and adding some B vitamins here. Mm -hmm. Then you will need a one Ooh, chopped nice. green onion. Right now, our green onions growing everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, you, if you don't pull out the roots from your garden, they <laughs> reproduce every year. <laughs> that's a blessing from yes, the law. We even have them in the lawn, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they become wheat. <laughs> that is exactly what happens. <laughs> so, so I want to talk to you about cabbage. Cabbage actually reduced uh, risk of cancer. So especially if you have a stomach cancer, it's very high in antioxidant, which is reduce cancer risk from your stomach. Mm -hmm. And also good for the asthma. If you have an asthma problem, eat some lot of cabbages. Also, if you have bladder problems. Bladder? Bladder okay. disorders, have some cabbage, it will correct you. And bronchitis and stomach ulcer. Mm -hmm. You know, those mm -hmm. uh, cabbages, really, this is a vegan, I'm adding vegan spaghetti sauce. Okay. And when you go to a grocery store, there's all kind of spaghetti sauce. There so is. try to find one with just the tomatoes, onions, and garlic. Right. Or just mushroom. Right. Read yeah. the ingredient label on the back. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just stir really good and bring to boil. Then once it starts boiling, you reduce the heat, mm -hmm. then covers, mm -hmm. then uh, cook until nice and tender. It takes about 30 minutes. Okay, yeah. so this one's longer because the last longer. soup was, what, 10 minutes? 10 to 15, 20. 
So but this one's a lot quicker. But it's mm -hmm. rewarding. <laughs> rewarding yes. too. Yes. And wonderful for your stomach also, so it's good for you. Mm -hmm. so. And we have one that's all finished over yeah. here. I love that. Now it's got more of a reddish color. I'm trying to think what we added. It must be the spaghetti sauce that made it that yeah, color. Yes, spaghetti sauce. Right yeah. now, you see the spaghetti sauce, once you cook down, you just bring the more flavor. Yes. Then you just sprinkle with some green onions. I like that. Oh, Tastes yeah. good. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I have to have a little bit. Look at I'm going to dip out of here, I think. <laughs> because that one's not done yet. She said it takes 30 minutes, and yeah. we're not going to wait that long. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Where's the patience? <laughs> I know, where is my patience? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. We need to, I need to pray about that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know that. Mmm, mm-hmm. This is my favorite. Mm. I love cabbage, mm -hmm. so, yeah. So. Very good flavor. Thank you for mm -hmm. tasting. Thank oh, you yes, tasting. absolutely. Yeah. You know, that's my job, to make sure it's okay for you. Oh. <laughs> We know that it's okay, otherwise we would not keep having Kyung come back. Really? That's right. Oh, okay, thank you for telling me. <laughs>